This video details an ultrasound guided injection of the piriformis. The authors have no relevant disclosures. An ultrasound guided piriformis injection can be easily performed in a clinic setting. During the procedure, a patient is in the prone position with the lower extremity in neutral rotation. The patient is asked to move to the edge of the table and the buttock is draped with aseptic towels or a medical pad. The ultrasound machine is placed on the symptomatic side of the patient and positioned in front of the provider. Our center uses a Sonocyte M-Turbo ultrasound system. Prior to the injection, a survey scan of the posterior hip anatomy is performed. Non-sterile gel is placed over the mid-buttock area and a curvilinear transducer is used to perform a survey scan of the piriformis. The transducer is placed in long axis with the piriformis. The piriformis musculature is visualized in long axis and the sciatic nerve is the hyperechoic structure beneath the piriformis visualized in short axis. The lower extremity is rotated allowing dynamic visualization of the muscle from the sacrum to the attachment on the greater trochanter. The trochanter may not be within view until the patient is rotated. This muscle movement also helps confirm the correct muscle is being visualized. It is helpful to have the procedural assistant rotate the lower extremity while the provider visualizes the movement and makes any adjustments to the ultrasound settings to best visualize the anatomic structures and injection. During the survey scan, Doppler imaging can be used to locate neurovascular structures to be avoided during the injection. The sciatic nerve can typically be visualized as the hyperechoic structure deep to the piriformis. At times, the sciatic nerve may be bifurcated with a portion of the nerve running through the musculature. The buttock is sterilized with a chlorhexidine swab. Betadine is not used as it can stain the ultrasound transducer. The entire buttock is sterilized down to the gluteal fold. The procedural assistant thoroughly cleans the ultrasound transducer with a germicidal cloth. The type of germicidal cloth safe to use on the transducer can vary, so it is best to check with the manufacturer of the system. Sterile gel is then placed over the gluteal area and the provider can be seated to perform the procedure. The provider grasps the ultrasound transducer, pulling the transducer and cord through the germicidal cloth. The piriformis is then, again, visualized in long axis and the sciatic nerve in short axis. The procedural assistant moves the sterile tray within reach of the provider. The excess gel is wiped away with a sterile 4x4 gauze. The skin is sprayed with ethyl chloride and the spinal needle is placed approximately one half to one centimeter in front of the probe and inserted bevel up until it enters the piriformis musculature avoiding the sciatic nerve. Once the needle is in place, the medication can be injected and visualized entering the muscle tissue. Once complete, the needle is removed. Typically, an image is stored and the remaining ultrasound gel can be wiped away. The medical pad can then be removed and a bandage can be applied. Ultrasound and ultrasound guided injections are the single greatest adjunct to your history and physical examination in deciphering the complexities of hip problems. As you can see in this illustrative example of the piriformis, with precise visualization of the needle, the entire injection process takes just a few brief moments and is typically barely noticed by the patient. This is true of injections inside the hip joint and virtually any structure around it. If you can see it, you can inject it. We've been doing this for years in thousands of cases, but everyone has to start somewhere. Be patient, be thoughtful, and remember it is all about the patients we treat. For more information, contact me, Beth Bardowski, at beth at nashvillehip.org or visit our website at nashvillehip.org.